We're at the Budweiser Event Center in Loveland, Colorado's Utah Grizzlies take on the Colorado Eagles for the final time this season. 11 of the 12 meetings between the two teams have been one goal contests, including the last seven meetings between the Grizzlies and Eagles. We're trying to have fun. I know we're out of the playoffs, but uh, it's no excuse. We still got a job to do, and we still have three games left in the year. Um, so obviously we want to play for our respect, and uh, we're going to go hard tonight and uh, come out with a road win here. Travis Howe's been on a roll offensively. As he's got four goals in his last five games. I mean, with my skill set, I don't think I'm going to be scoring too many uh, pretty tic-tac-toe goals or anything like that. So I just got to go with what works for me and and uh, just got to keep working hard, really. Just stick to my simple game and good things will come. He's been working hard, uh, going to the right areas, and uh, he's playing the right way and doing all the small things, and he's getting rewarded. Um, it's good for him uh, to be scoring some goals, and hopefully it keeps going. I mean, I'm obviously a bigger body in front, so... Anytime any of us who are the bigger bodies can get in, get in front of the goalie and screen them with our with our D ripping pucks from the point, I mean that's definitely a definitely a big uh, big thing for us. But uh, yeah, just just pretty much stand there, keep it simple, and hopefully uh, get a few more. This weekend is Fan Appreciation Weekend here for the Utah Grizzlies. They take on the Kansas City Mavericks on Friday and Saturday, the last two home games of the year. We want to say thank you to all the fans that came out and supported us this year. I know it's not the way the season wanted to go, but uh, like you said, crowds have been awesome, and uh, it makes it more fun for us as players uh, to get energy and uh, just pumped up before the game. And so I hope that you guys continue to come, and thank you, and we'll see you next season. This is my second full year here, and I mean, it, it seems like they just get better and better as, uh, as the years go on, and you, you really can't thank them enough for what they do um, from anywhere from – just cheering us on at home, and then you get the you get the fans who come on the road trips. They'll travel five, eight hours to come to Idaho and Colorado to cheer us on. And I mean, this season didn't really go the way that I think any of us really hoped. But at the end of the day, there our fans are definitely our backbone, and they uh, they give us support no matter what. And we we can't thank them and respect them enough for that. It's it's it, it makes things a lot easier when you got a fan base like ours who are stand behind us and do the things they do for us. It's pretty cool. The Grizzlies have three more games left in the regular season and begins tonight on the ranch against the Colorado Eagles. Now the Grizzlies do return home for games Friday and Saturday against the Kansas City Mavericks. 7 p.m. faceoff for both those games. Give me fan appreciation weekend as Grizzlies thank their great fans for their support throughout the 2017-2018 regular season as Utah Grizzlies once again are in the top five in attendance in the ECHL.